you may be a tither, hopefully you are, it's very important that you're obedient to what the word says about tithing, but then there's also giving. Tithing is 10%, bring into the full 10% into the storehouse, but then there's also giving because God will ask you to give in other areas. And um, uh, you may say, well, I'm a tither, I'm a giver, and that's so important from the, from the word of God to be obedient to that. But I can't seem to get a breakthrough, a financial breakthrough. Can anybody hear me and anybody say, yes, that's me, Pastor Di? Right. Well, this is going to help you. Let's look at Matthew chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 23 and 24. Matthew 5, 23. Therefore, and this is uh, Jesus speaking, Therefore, if you're offering your gift at the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, they're offended with you, something against you, leave your gift there in front of the altar. First go and be reconciled to your brother, then come and offer your gift. Such a powerful, I mean, we could probably do three sessions just on that, on that one verse. Such a powerful um, verse here in Matthew 5 that Jesus was explaining, because obviously in, under the Old Testament, people would literally bring their gifts, whatever, that, um, whatever they, were, they were bringing, and present it at the altar, etc. We Now, our main gift, of course, is a gift of our hearts, gift of praise and worship, etc. But then there are gifts that we are to give. And basically here, the way that I interpret this, if, <clears throat> if you're not re reconciled to your brother, if there's unforgiveness, if there's dissension, if there's um, uh, not uh, that relationally how it should be, then that's not pleasing to the Lord. So you can come and bring your gift, but if you're in strife with, with people, if you're in unforgiveness with somebody, then that is affecting the gift that you're bringing. Can you understand that? In God's sight, because let's face it, who are we bringing the gifts to? To the Lord. And um, God wants us to be obedient and to bring the gifts, but there's also another side to this. And if we are bringing, you know, you can, you can tithe and bring, you know, a whole load of money, uh, or, or whatever, and but if you hold unforgiveness in your heart, God can't recognize that. That that gift, your gift, will not bless Him because of your unforgiveness. Can you understand that? Um, <clears throat> again, leave your gift there in front of the altar first. Jesus said, "Go and be reconciled to your brother, then come back and offer your gift." So we need to, you know, when we're giving whether it's in the general offering in church or, or any form of giving, we need to just check our hearts. Have I got unforgiveness? You know, I, I may put something in the basket, as it, in the offering basket as it goes round in church, but I've got a bad attitude to person, the person at the end of the row. Now, that is not going to bless God. The, you know, the offering, time, the giving is holy before the Lord. And we, we, I think we forget that and, and we shouldn't. Amen? <clears throat> 